Hi everyone, in today's Biblical Cities of the Holy Land video, we will take a look at the Old Testament city of Dan. The city of Dan is located in northern Israel at the northern end of the Hula Valley, about 25 miles or 38 kilometers north of the Sea of Galilee and which is located at the base of Mount Hermon. Before the city became known as Dan, the Canaanite city was called Leshem, according to Joshua chapter 19 verse 47, and also Laish, before the city was conquered by the tribe of Dan in the times of the Judges, according to Judges chapter 18, and then was renamed in honour of the patriarch Dan. Laish is also mentioned in ancient Egyptian sources such as the 19th century BC execration or curse texts and is also included amongst the cities that were conquered by Tuthmose III in the 15th century BC. Both sources help to demonstrate the significance of the city even before its Israelite habitation. The earliest biblical mention of the city is in Genesis 14:14, 14, 14, where the Bible records that Abraham and his allies fought a battle near the city against an alliance of Mesopotamian kings so as to rescue his nephew Lot. The importance of this city was based on three factors. One, its strategic location on a major international road junction. Two, its location at the northern end of the fertile Hula Valley. And three, it was also located at the headwaters of the River Jordan. In fact, today the site is also a nature reserve. The site itself has been excavated since 1966, and many different things have been discovered there over the years. The earlier Bronze Age Canaanite city, which had a population of possibly around eight to 10,000 people, was defended by a massive earthen embankment and a mud brick wall. Discovered within this walled structure is the earliest known surviving example of an arched gateway with defensive towers that was constructed using mud bricks. I have made an earlier video on this gateway, which link will be above. At the city was also unearthed a large Bronze Age Mycenaean-style tomb, which contained pottery from both Mycenaean Greece and the island of Cyprus. These finds help to show the significance of the Bronze Age city and its contacts with other distant parts of the world. After the city was conquered by the Israelites during the times of the Judges, the city acted as a traditional border city of the lands that were controlled by the Israelites. This is demonstrated by the phrase, from Dan even to Bathsheba, which is first used in Judges chapter 20 verse 1 and elsewhere in the Old Testament. The importance of the Israelite city of Dan can be seen in several areas. Firstly, the city was chosen by King Jeroboam I as the northern location for one of his two infamous Golden Calf sanctuaries, the other being located at the southern end of his kingdom at Bethel. This is recorded in 1 Kings chapter 12 verses 28 to 33. The site was already clearly used as a false religious centre by the tribe of Dan, according to Judges 18. And Jeroboam obviously continued this association and practice during his reign, and which practice continued throughout the existence of the northern kingdom of Israel. The site of the golden calf worship at Dan has been discovered at the northern end of the city, with remains of a large horned altar, a sanctuary structure, religious paraphernalia, and animal remains being found. The religious function of the city continued on well into the Greek and Roman periods, demonstrated by a bilingual inscription which is dated to the Hellenistic period in both Greek and Aramaic that was found at the site and which reads in Greek to the God who is in Dan, Zoilus vowed a vow. And in Aramaic, the possible translation reads... In Dan, Zylus made a vow to the God. The 1st century AD Jewish historian Josephus also mentions the city and its location in his work, The Jewish Wars, in Book 4, Passage 3. These documents help to demonstrate that the city is indeed the biblical city of Dan 
and that religion was a vitally important part of the city's function for many, many centuries. Secondly, the city played a vitally important defensive role and acted as a border fortress for the northern border of Israel. This is demonstrated by the presence of a large stone wall and gate that was built during the early period of the northern kingdom of Israel. The gate is also significant for the fact that both a long stone bench and what appears to be a covered podium were discovered in it. It is thought that the bench may have been where the city elders met, and that the podium was possibly used either as a place for visiting kings to sit and judge, or was where an image of a god was placed. The gate of the city was often used in biblical times as a place to conduct state and local business, draw up contracts, and to make judgments, and was used by both kings, local leadership, and ordinary people for these purposes, which is clearly demonstrated in biblical passages like Genesis chapter 23 verses 17 to 19, Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 24, Ruth chapter 4, and 2 Samuel chapter 19 verse 8, and others beside. It was also just outside of this gate that the famous Tel Dan Steely was discovered in 1993 to 94 that mentions the House of David, which I have also done an earlier video on, which link will be at the end of this video. The city during the Israelite period was captured by the Syrian king Ben-Hadad, according to 1 Kings chapter 15 verse 20, and was then recaptured by Jeroboam II, according to 2 Kings chapter 14 verse 25. With the fall of the Kingdom of Israel to the Assyrians in 722 BC, the city came under the control of Assyria and later kingdoms. The prophet Jeremiah also mentions the city of Dan in chapter 4 verse 15 and chapter 8 verse 16. So it was still inhabited before the fall of the Kingdom of Judah in 586 BC. The site then appears to have been inhabited in some form or another until about the 4th century AD and was then finally abandoned. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.